Hello, welcome to LearnScience.com lesson number 18. In this lesson, we're going to talk about verb tenses. Now, if you've learned another foreign language, then you probably have experienced that there's lots of verbs. There's lots of times, future, past, and, and all of that. In, in English, we have that too, but we just don't think of them that way. We don't think of the complication that verbs can, can cause when you're trying to learn a new language. Uh, many languages, as does English, again, we just don't think about it, have modifiers or things that make the verb either simple past or an action that is completed in the past or an action that started in the past but continues to the, to the current time. So there's lots of different just simple past tense and then present and future tense as well. Well, you'll be very happy to know that in sign language, generally, we talk about three tenses, past, present, and future. And, and it's really that simple. Now, most of the time, context will tell you whether the action is in the past. A couple of lessons ago, you learned several verbs, basic verbs, and you can put those verbs in the past, in the present, or in the future when necessary. But context, like I said, context generally takes care of that. So you don't have to, before every verb, say, in the past I did this. You can just say, if you're talking about a story, let's say something that happened last Christmas, then everything that's said is, is understood to be past tense. And therefore, you don't have to modify each verb so that it tells you that it's past tense, like you would in a spoken language. Uh, so past tense is controlled by context. Same way with present tense. If you're talking about something that will happen in the future, then that's also dictated by context as to how the verbs would be spoken if you needed to speak them. But typically, with sign language, you just you read what the person is saying and you know that it's future, past, present. Now, if you're, if you're actually having to voice the verbs, voice the words, then you would need to definitely know, you know exactly what is the, the English word for that. But that, that just comes naturally for those of us who speak English as our native language. Uh, so there's only three basic tenses, or three tenses, in, in sign language, past, present, and future. And context dictates, for the most part, what you're going to do. Now, when you do need to, to distinguish whether this is something that happened in the past or in the future, then you can do your simple simple modifier, your sign, this is past, or before, before, in the past, and then present, if you need to do anything at all, you can do now, or you'll also see it like this, now, I showed you both ways when we did that, now, or present, and then future, you take and you touch the side of your, your face, and you push forward, future. And this is with your, with your, um, the end of your hand, the edge of your hand pushing forward. Where past tense, you have your palm facing backwards. If you're right handed, then when you do future, your palm is going to face to the left, or if you're left handed, your palm will face to the right. So this is, you don't push forward with your palm, you push forward with the side of your hand. Uh, so that is past, present, and future. So, for example, if I wanted to say, last year, in my birthday, I could say, last, or in the past, and then the sign for birthday, birthday, or whatever the sign is you use for birthday in your area. That's one of those signs that changes quite a bit. But I can say, last birthday, I ate, okay, I don't have to say, I a T E, this is the sign eat, and so A T E is another sign. It's not a different sign, it's the same sign. So last birthday I ate cake or cake, however you do cake. 
there, there's the, just, just that simple for doing your, your verb. So past tense, you just say, you just put it in the past if it's necessary to say that. And then you've got your past tense verbs. Present, you've got your present tense verb. And then future for your future tense verbs. Future. You don't have to say every time, I will go to the store. I will eat lunch. I will take a nap. If you're talking about things that's gonna, that are gonna happen later today, you can say, today, I will go to the store. I will eat lunch. I will take a nap. Again, I don't have to modify every one of those future tenses with the well. You can, but it's also very simple if you, if the context has already been set up that the future tense is, or that, that you're talking about the future, then you don't have to do all of that. So think of, think of tenses, past, present, and future, as being very simple in sign language. Now, I don't mean to say that it's simplistic. Uh, that you can convey so much of what you say in English, you can convey it in sign language as well. It's just it's done in a different way. And so when you're when you're thinking about how do I put together a sentence and everything, context tells you most of the time what what the verbs are, past, present, or future. And then if you do need to modify it, you can modify it with past or before, present, now, or future. Just a simple lesson on how to use those verbs that we learned a couple lessons ago. It's learnsigns.com slash 18. I'm also going to talk about some sentence structure in some upcoming lessons, and it would be helpful for you if you did some reading on sentence structure, how that's laid out. I'm going to write some posts at learnsigns.com that you can read. So occasionally when you're checking these videos, Go to the website and see what else I've written in there that will help you with some of your, your grammar, your sentence structure. And I'll have those posts up there periodically between uh, videos because they're not, they're not so visual. Uh, they're easy to read and probably easier to comprehend and digest. And then I can talk about those in a video as well. Thanks for watching. This is LearnScience.com slash 18.